day. Welcome to this online customer service training for informal traders and small businesses. This training is brought to you by the Small Enterprise Development Agency under the Department of Small Business Development. The aim of this training is to help small businesses and informal traders on how to improve customer service on a daily basis. Let us begin by looking at what topics will be discussed in this particular training. This training will be divided into two sections, section one and section two. Under section one, we will look at what is the definition of customer service? What is the importance of customer service? What are the useful tips for a good customer service? What are the characteristics of a good customer service? And lastly, what are the implementation strategies for a good customer service? Under section two, that will be the discussed by my colleague, we will look at how to deal with customer complaints and also how to handle difficult customers. Let us first begin by explaining what is customer service. It is an act of taking care of the customer's needs by providing and delivering a professional, helpful, high quality service and assistance before, during, and after the customer's requirements are met. This is all about serving customers what they want, when they want, and how they want it. This also refers to treating customers the way they would like to be treated. Why is customer service important? Before we consider the main reasons why customer service is important, let's imagine a situation. If I were to ask you, what's the best place to eat pizza in your area? What would you say? Or to be more precise, how will you rate all the places in your area to give the best one out of the list? Would you think about the food quality, the ambience, the hygiene, or all of the above? But there is one thing that I'm sure you'll think of the most, customer experience. Creating that customer experience is one way to ensure that your customers will keep on supporting your business. It is one experience that will rub off on customers and they will never forget about your business or about the product, especially when it comes to the way you service them as your important stakeholder in your business. Why is customer service important? Number one, loyalty. Customer loyalty is crucial to most small businesses' bottom line. It is very important to have loyal customers that will keep supporting your business all the time. Number two, saving money. A good customer service rendered to customers will save small businesses a lot of money because they will spread a lot of good messages about the small business, about its products, about its services. Number three, surviving through the long term. Businesses, especially small businesses, can survive long term of bad publicity, just like any other business. Good publicity will ensure and assist the small business to keep on thriving and growing and expanding all the time. Let us share some successful customer service tips. Relationship. 
it is very important to build a relationship with your customer. Create that personalized customer experience. Customers always value the relationship that they have with the entrepreneurs who own the business. Being present. Customer service is all about being present from the service counter to social interactions, social media, and also through emails and other means of communication. Same level of service. It is important to treat every customer with the same level of service. From the customer who checks in with you once a year to the one that you are in contact with daily, make sure each one gets the same level of service from you. Customer feedback. Pay close attention to customer feedback. Make sure your customers have a way to share their opinions about your business. Excellent people skills. It is very important for small businesses, just like any other business, to hire employees with excellent people skills. False promises or guarantees. Just like in any other business, don't make false promises or guarantees. Always Give your customers what they want, when they want, and how they want it. What are some of the good characteristics of customer service? Number one, customer focused attitude. It is very important to always have the best interest of your customer at heart. Always put your customer first. Remember the golden rule in business. Customer is king. Customer is always right. If you have a clear attitude and a clear focused attitude towards helping your customers, your customer will always value you. Your customers will always respect you. Secondly, a powerful communication method. It is very important and crucial to have a powerful communication method with your customers. This could be verbal communication. It could be electronic communication. It could also be a paper-based form of communication. Any form of communication is very crucial for customer service. Thirdly, and most importantly, empathy. It is very important to put yourself in the shoes of your customer. Try as much as possible to understand why they are not happy about your product or service. Always put the customer first. Customers who realize that the entrepreneur is really interested in solving their problem will always value and appreciate, but most importantly, they will spread a good word about your business or your product. We have come to the end of section one. Let us remember the key important factors on customer service. Maintaining positive attitude. The golden rule, customer is always right. Have proper communication methods with your customers, either verbal, electronic, or paper-based. Empathy with your customers. Always be willing to solve customer complaints and problems. Thank you very much for undertaking this training. We hope that it has helped you to improve your customer service. 
on a daily basis in your business. My colleague will take you over through to section two, where the, she will discuss with you the benefits of customer complaints and how to handle difficult customers. In this session, we'll discuss the following topics, the benefits of customer complaints and how to handle difficult customers. Benefits of complaints in customer service. Customer complaints are good for your business. They help the business to understand their customers better. And that's why we say consumers can offer you available insight into your service or your product that you as the business owner were not aware of. They highlight problems arising from product, service, or an employee. They help you to identify areas for improvement. They improve customer communication. You are able to understand the needs of your customers and it's an opportunity for the business to satisfy the dissatisfied customer and therefore you retain the dissatisfied customers. Complaints can be seen as a problem or as an opportunity. But if you choose to see complaint as a problem, you will create an environment that is full of fear, discomfort, guiltiness, and you will start shifting the blame. Let's say you received a complaint regarding your cold rings. Customers are complaining that your cold drinks are not cold enough. As a business owner, you can choose to see the complaint as a problem and get defensive and start shifting blames, or you can see it as an opportunity to improve that service. It is important as a business owner to ask yourself these two questions whenever you receive a complaint. What needs to be done to prevent it? And what changes can I make to make sure that it does not happen to another customer? And that's why we say opportunities are appreciated. Whenever there is a complaint, there is an opportunity. If a customer complains, it's an opportunity for the business to get feedback about things that are not working and make necessary corrections. And this will help the business to gain maximum benefit from customer's feedback. And also, the business can use the complaints to improve their services as they are now aware of their mistakes. Now, let's look at this scenario where a complaint is seen as an opportunity. The following items are constantly not available in your store. And these are some of the items that your customers are requesting them. As a business owner, you can choose to see this complaint as a problem and get defensive and uncomfortable, or you can choose to see this complaint as an opportunity to understand the needs of your customers and supply them with their needs. And this could lead to a growth in your business, gives you a financial gain and a good reputation in the community. How to deal with reoccurring complaints. As a business owner, you need to log all your complaints. By logging your complaints, it will help you to track the reoccurring complaints. If we look at this table below, we can see that on the 4th of Feb, SIPO complained about a 500 grams can of beans that has already reached its expiry date. And the following month, Sarah complained about a 500 grams corn corned beef that was moldy and had an off smell. Now we need to conduct a corrective action to prevent reoccurrence. To conduct a corrective action, we need to do a root cause analysis. And in this case, we've applied the 5Y method of root cause analysis. And the method is applied in this manner. Why do we still have expired can product on the shelf? It's because of poor monitoring of stock on the shelves. And why do we still have poor monitoring of the stock on the shelves? It's because we don't have the first in first out system in place. And why we don't have the first in first out system in place? It's because of the lack of proper training on stock control. So now from these answers, 
you can able to prevent the reoccurrence of your problem by monitoring your stock on the shelf and apply the first in first out system while you look into getting a proper training on stock control. To avoid reoccurring complaints, encourage customers to express their complaints. If customers are not expressing their complaints to their business, the business will not be able to fix their problems. As a business owner, you need to encourage your customers to express their complaints as this will help you to retain dissatisfied customers, build relationships, earn more word of mouth from your customers, which will lead to a good reputation, customers become your marketers, and loyal customers are more forgiving and profitable. According to the market research statistics, 4% of customers' complaints, 96% of customers go to competitors, 90% of dissatisfied customers never come back, 90% of customers with resolved complaints are retained. Therefore, it is important to make sure that you resolve customers' complaints to retain your customers. And dissatisfied customers tell at least 10 people about their negative experience and this will cost your business five to six more times to attract new customers than to keep the old ones. Now let's look at how to handle difficult customers. No matter how much time you spend delivering good customer service, you can't please everyone every time. And as a business owner, you should probably know that dealing with a difficult customer can be very unpleasant that you can't control someone else's behavior, but you can control your own actions to influence how customers respond, and that it is important to recognize the types of difficult customers you have to deal with. You get angry customers. Their anger is obvious, and they often raise their voice. You need to assure the customer that you're going to handle their problem. Impatient customers. Customers that want you to drop everything and help them. You can only respond by saying, I can see you are in a hurry. I'm working as quickly as I can. Intimidating customers, they are full of threats. They want you to be scared and terrified. You just need to control your response. Maintain eye contact and remain calm. Talkative customers, they will go on and on about their problem. They will give you a full details regarding their complaints. You need to listen very carefully and remain focused. Demanding customers can be the most difficult customers. They feel entitled to something that you may not be able to deliver. You need to acknowledge that you will handle their situation fairly. And indecisive customers, these are customers who have lack of confidence. They just can't make up their mind. They are worried that they are very worried that they will make a wrong decision. Provide them with options and be honest with them. As a business owner, you must be able to identify the angry customers by learning to read verbal and nonverbal language. You get aggressive customers, customers who express their feelings immediately, their anger is obvious and they are often sarcastic. They are usually not ready to listen. Therefore, do not respond to such customers with anger. It will make the situation worse. Try to understand and wait for them to calm down. Passive customers. These are customers that usually keep their anger inside, but their body language will give you clues. They will either fold their arms, frown, and they can even walk away. Give them full attention. The likelihood of a passive customer to change to competitors is very high. And as a business owner, one of your main goals is to retain your customers. Now that you know the benefits of complaints in customer service and the different types of difficult customers, let's look at this scenario. You sell ready-to-eat cooked food as a business. Customer buys the beef stew and chakalaka. Upon opening, the customer finds a piece of steel wool in the stew. Customer comes back angry and demands a refund and even threatens to take the complaint to social media. Now, as a business owner, 
how will you respond to this complaint? The following are guidelines for dealing with difficult customers. Control yourself. Never argue with a customer, especially when they are angry. Don't take it personal. Listen to the customer and let the customer vent. And while you're listening, maintain eye contact, acknowledge and understood. Take notes, collect all the relevant information. Show the customer that you care and don't blame the customer or your business. Try to solve the problem, get all the facts that you can, and don't make promises you can't keep. Get assistance for someone who knows. Deal with the problem in the best interest of your business. And remember to say I'm sorry, even if it's not your fault. Empathize immediately with the customer. This will make the situation less intense. Take immediate action. Ask what will make them happy. Immediate action is necessary to make the service recovery. Don't make the customer wait for a service. Understand the true meaning of customer service, that you don't just fixing a problem, but you're making sure that it won't happen again. Follow up with the customer, and this will give you an opportunity to check that you have solved the customer's issue, and this will help you with your continuous improvement of your product or your service. In conclusion, it is important to practice good customer service in your business as it will help you to deliver positive customer experience, thereby retaining customers and attract new ones. Remember to always view your complaint as a golden opportunity to improve your service and always put your customers first. That will be the end of our presentation on customer service for informal traders and small businesses brought to you by CEDA. Hope you've enjoyed the presentation and you will find it useful for your business. For more information and questions regarding this presentation, you can visit our website at www.ceda.org.sa. Thank you.